Okay, we'd like to introduce the 2019 Charles Schwab Challenge champion, Kevin Na, into the interview room. Kevin picks up his third PGA Tour victory, and Kevin, I know this one means a lot to you. You've wanted this one for a long time. Yes, I have. Um, <clears throat> this is, well, according to the stat, they say that uh, this is the golf course that I've ever uh, had the most leads uh, in a tournament. So I've had a lead at some point in, in the, during a tournament, the most out of all the, any other tournaments I've played. So it tells you that how much I like this place and how well I've played here. And um, I knew that this is one of my, one of the places that I can definitely win. And and I really look forward to coming here, having a chance and to be able to do it today. It's a great feeling. You move up to number 27 in the FedEx Cup standings. That really sets you up well for the rest of the season. I know you also have other goals in mind as well. Yeah, obviously making a tour championship um, to make it to the finale is a goal every year. Um, I've done a pretty good job over the years getting there. Um, this is definitely going to help, uh, 500 FedEx Cup points. And um, this should, uh, I should be in the radar for Tiger Woods uh, President's Cup. <laughs> Captain, <laughs> hope you're watching. <laughs> and finally, uh, we've got some, we have some unique trophies uh, on this tour. This is obviously a beautiful one here, but you also received the 1973 Dodge Challenger that Mr. Schwab just presented the keys to you. Yes. Just talk a little bit about that. Oh, wow, that car was is beautiful. Uh, I saw that car and I, I knew about it before I even got here. I mean, months in advance, they said that uh, they're giving us 73 Dodge, this old classic that's, you know, uh, refurbished and it's it's beautiful. Um, I don't know how my caddy convinced me to give him the car, but um, how he, he, he's a good salesman, I guess. <laughs> he sold me into it, but the, I'm more than happy to give it to him. He deserves it. Um, I get something cooler right here. All right, we'll open it up to uh, questions. You'll raise your hand. We'll, we'll start with Drew here on the front. Kevin, you mentioned all the leads you've had here, but what does it mean to get on the Wall of Champions, especially at this tournament with such great history? It's an honor. Um, this this tournament has so many world class and legends of the game that's on the wall. And um, on the first tee, I saw that wall, looked at the name right right below Justin Rose, and in my head, I engraved my name in it in my head. And um, I'm just trying to visualize success before I teed off. Okay, Mike. Kevin, Kenny said that he first mentioned it on Tuesday during a practice round about the car, and you just basically said, hey, if I win, I'm, I'll give it to you. Did, did he continue to remind you about that throughout the week? Um, he did it. He did the practice round, and once the tournament started, no. But, um, oh, he knows. <laughs> I was thinking about it. The little did I know, know that how, I mean, it looks, it looks like a beautiful car, but little did I know how much that car was worth. <laughs> but um, he says, but I'll take my name out of the hole in one list because we have a hole in one list. It's every time I make a hole in one, if there's a car, the person gets it. And, you know, it starts with, you know, parents, you know, and then it goes wife, daughter, and Kenny. And well, Kenny said, well, I started working for you before your daughter was born, so I'm behind the wife. Fine, I'll give you the wife. But I can, I'll take my name out of the list, but you can give me that car. I said, whatever, fine. <laughs> Hey, and right. Kenny, oh. Kenny's said that since you won last year, there's mm -hmm. been a calmness about your game. Would you, would you feel like in the last year you've, I you've agree. played with a calmness? I agree. I think um, after after the win at Greenbrier last year it was a very emotional win, and um, I feel like this this week was the next chance I had, I had to win. The next time I I, I can you know tech, legitimately contended and. I won, and I felt so much more comfortable. I had so much more confidence, and I think me winning Greenbrier last year is obviously taking a lot of pressure off. There's always pressure, but there's it's taken a lot of load off, off my weight off my shoulders, and um, I think it helped me today. All right, let's go to Bill in the back. Kevin, what is it about Colonial Country Club course that makes it so uh, patterned for your game? Um, it's it's a great design golf course. Um, you got to hit a lot of draws off the tee. Um, it's just some of the, the way the hole sits. I, I like it. There's a few cut holes. Um, I can still I can cut it when I need to, but uh, mostly I think a lot of my draws work out here. Um, and I've mentioned this many times. It's a it's I feel like it's a second shot in golf course. It get the golf course. Everyone kind of puts it in the same 
positions themselves off the tee in the same spot, and it's about how good you can hit it up with the irons and how well you can putt. And I'm a pretty good player, fairway in. Okay. Yep, right here, Skyway. Couple of quick ones. First, uh, why the fist pump on eight? Was that sort of a moment where you felt like after you made that putt? Yeah, because the hole before, I, I really felt like I gave one away. I had wedge in my hand, thinking birdie. I got a little too aggressive with the shot. Um, I should have hit it 15 feet right. I kind of went for the pin, and it turned over a little bit and long left, and I, and I made bogey. And, and, and the putt wasn't all that hard of a putt, but uh, Kenny and I couldn't come up to uh, an agreement on the line, um, and I missed. And it felt like I just really gave one away. And to get one back on, on right away on the next hole, it, it was a great feeling. And does Kenny still get paid, or is the challenger his salary? <laughs> Actually, he was for, oh, oh yeah, he gets, you know what? It wouldn't surprise me if he's the highest percentage paid at a caddy out here. I'm, I'm being dead serious, you can ask him. We won't tell you the number, but he, he gets a good check. More, a lot more than the average. All right, Mike. When, going back to the last year when you won, you that was a stretch of about like 158 starts between wins. Uh, you said you weren't sure if that was ever going to, to come again. Since that win, did you feel like, oh, well, yeah, it's going to come again? There's going to be a time I'm going to win Yeah, um, you know, it took me a while to get my first win. And the second win, I mean, I had so many close calls. And, and I got my second win. And it took, it, like I said, people said, you're going to win, you're going to win. But till when it happens, you, you just never know. But after I won Greenbrier, I knew that it wasn't going to be too long till I got my third one. 